now. I hope that picks up your voice. Maybe it will. Now, what did you say about Florence Nesbitt? What did you say about Florence Nesbitt? Oh, Florence Nesbitt. I haven't heard of her since her son came, the youngest boy came to Youngstown. And uh, what was his name? What was his, his name? His name was Oscar Nesbitt. Oscar. She had two boys, William and Oscar. Mm -hmm. William went, joined the army, and got in the Spanish American. Hmm. Spanish American? Or the First World War, maybe. No, he fought the Mexicans. Oh, well, no, then it must have been the Spanish American. No, that wasn't the Mexicans. Was it? <laughs> Who was fighting the Mexicans? We're not very good <laughs> historians. <laughs> anyway, he was in the army, <laughs> fighting the Mexicans. <laughs> he was fighting the Mexicans, yes. And they sent him over to the Philippines, and he married a Philippine girl oh. over there. Because he brought her back. I went to Youngstown to visit one time. Now, just where I lived at the time, I don't know. I might have been in Cleveland, I might have been in New Jersey. But anyhow, the girl, she, he and his wife were there visiting when I went home. Oh, your mother lived in, still lived in Youngstown? Did you go home to see your mother? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was visiting her? Mm -hmm. My mother was there, and so was my youngest sister. She wasn't married either. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never saw him again. He went back to the Philippines. Oh. He was stationed in the Philippines, I think, at that time. Mm -hmm. He went back to the Philippines, and I never did see him again. Now, was that the was that Oscar or was that William? That was William. That was William. Oscar. Oh, look at the good food she made. Oscar came to Youngstown. I was married. And uh, he went from there to Canada. And I heard he married a Canadian girl oh. and stayed in Canada. You know, I never did see him again either. The family really went to the Four Corners, didn't they? I guess that's true with all families, though, I really. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Fairly true. So. Well, what about Florence? Did what, where did Florence, did she not stay in Altoona? Why did I lose track of Florence in Altoona? She died in Altoona, Altoona I, after the boys left. Did she die as a young woman? Fairly young woman? Well, William was, uh, I think, around 19 or 20 when I he see. went to Youngstown on his way to the army. Was his mother living then? His mother was living then. But I never heard of her after that. Did you know her husband? Charles? I knew her husband. Uh -huh. But I was a little kid little girl. when I visited that. I used to be fascinated by his barber shop. Uh-huh. In Altoona. Huh? In Altoona. Uh -huh. In Altoona. He uh, did all kinds of those old fashioned remedies, like bleeding them. Oh yeah. Yeah, and put them in there. Did he have leeches? Leeches, yeah. They have leeches in bottles and take them out and stick them out. Ah! <laughs> oh, I was fascinated. Our relatives, huh? Yeah. Oh, the barber shops yeah, used to be beautiful. But I don't know what became of uh, my Aunt Florence. Mm-hmm. I don't know either. And you didn't find out either? No, I lost track of them about, um, oh, 1915, something like that. I and it, and I think that when your grandmother died in 1921, I think yeah. Florence was already dead. She wasn't mentioned yes, in I the obituary. She, yes. I think she was yes. dead at that time. Yeah. Well, you know, Charles Nesbitt's father was a very interesting man. 
His father's name was William, too. And William Nesbitt went to Liberia in the colonization movement. So did Charles Chaplin. John. Charles. John. John. John Chaplin. Did John go to, to Liberia? They went together. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, did I ever tell you about the woman in Huntingdon that I love to talk with? She gave me a painting of your grandfather's. Her name is Charlotta Singh, and her maiden name was Carr, C-A-R-R. Well, Charlotta's grandfather went to Liberia, too. It must have been quite His a name was Curtis Carr. But John Chaplin didn't stay. And William Nesbitt didn't stay, and he didn't like it. John and he wrote a book about how awful it was. Some kind of a fever. <laughs> yeah. John Chaplin went. He got some kind of a fever and came back. You know, I read something recently, a newspaper article that I don't think I sent you. The most recent newspaper article that I found about him. I'm not sure, but I don't think I did. Um, it said that he had gone to Haiti. Did you ever hear that he'd gone to Haiti? Just Liberia. John Chaplin went to Haiti. And a couple... I have uh, another newspaper article that said that he had painted portraits of several Haitian famous men. Now, he didn't paint them from life. I think he painted them from photographs. But there must have been some interest in Haiti, or else someone wanted them to paint these people because they were interested in them. But there was a time when there was a great interest in Haiti. and. Um, now, Liberia was the only place that I heard that you heard that, that he was went. in Africa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That must. Grandma Kerr said that he painted the Pope, one of the Popes. I went to Rome. I tell you, his first trip to Europe, he went with Henry Tanner, the painter. Mm -hmm. He's famous. Yes, he is. I have a. Um, do you have any of his paintings? Too bad. Never, Too bad. <laughs> and I went to, uh, I've been to their house when I was little. Whose house? Tanner's. Tanner's house. They lived in Huntington, too, or some of those little towns around. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They live someplace around there. You've been to Tanner's with... When I was little, we just went up and down the Pennsylvania Railroad from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. And in there were all the little towns along there, we had friends and relatives. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to visit. Stop and visit. So you've been in Huntington? I've been in Huntington recently. Recently? But I was all alone, and it was, I was on a bus. And it was around 11 or 12 o'clock at night. But I got off the bus and walked around their square. Mm -hmm. They got a big open square. Mm -hmm. Because I knew it was Grandpa's home. Yeah. And I couldn't remember having been there before. Yeah. And here I was going by, through, and the bus stopped. I was going to wait there for a while. So I said, well, I'll just walk around the square anyhow and take a look at one of them. Isn't that interesting? When was that? That was about 10 years ago. Oh. Where were you going? I don't remember whether I was going to Philadelphia or to New York or to <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> Let's see. You must have been going to... Uh, Put down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, leave it up there. Uh, I was trying to think of where she was going. Was that the time that you... That's good. That must... Uh, and that wasn't the time I took the bus. I must have been going from Pittsburgh to New York. Or yeah. Pittsburgh to Buffalo. You see... When you... Bobby, I, I know. When you went back there, just before Maury and I came to New York to meet you, Mother went back to New York by herself. Oh, yeah, it could have been on that and, trip. And uh, 
she was going to New York City. And our daughter, Maureen, and I were going on a trip, but we couldn't go until the end of July because I was working for the police department and I couldn't get off. So uh, Maureen and I then went to uh, the end of July, coming in the first part of August. And mother went by herself, and she was there for about a month or more. You were there almost two months later. So I was in the Youngstown. She went to uh, Youngstown. She went to Huntington. She went, she went all around through the east by herself. Mm -hmm. And then she met us in New York City, in Manhattan, when Maury and I came in. Maury's name, M-O-R-I, is... Uh, a name that she has also, mm -hmm. like Marie Louise, hers is Maureen, Maureen Louise. Mm -hmm. She has a lot She's of great. Names. She's got a lot of names. Yeah. And we met Mother in Manhattan, but Mother was there about two months before. And that's when well, that's probably the trip then. That, that's, that's probably the trip. The trip. She it's about ten Huntington. years ago. She went Huntington. through Huntington. Mm -hmm. Because I was living in L.A. at 12 years ago. Uh -huh. Well, I don't think I knew anything about John Chaplin ten years ago. Eight years ago is when I started to when you first heard of get interested in him. Mm -hmm. yep. And just by chance, but then he just seemed so interesting to me. And I kept finding more things. And the more things I found, the more interested I became. It was like a detective story. You know, people are all looking for their families and... We have a lot of people come back from, there was a woman in the Historical Society last week from Idaho. And um, people just love to come back to the East and find out where their families used to be. And they have all these little charts and papers they're doing, and it's like a detective story that you piece <laughs> together. <laughs> and it's, uh, but I just thought he was, had. there just seemed to be so many interesting things. It was, because Grandma said, the, uh, the two men, Levi and Patrick, came when? from Cork, Ireland to the United States. Do you know when? When would that be? I'd have no dates. No idea. But yeah. Well, there are, you know. Showed it. Were they immigrants? Yeah, they came the That I don't See, know either. Well, I know that because Grandma Kerr told me. Well, if they were immigrants, they prob their names probably appear in a list somewhere. So many of those ships' lists have been indexed now. It's probably a, a matter of going to the National and Archives. They had money. Where'd they get the money, I wonder? From Ireland. They what did they do in Ireland? Well, Patrick Gwynn was born in Ireland. Where was Levi Chaplin born? In the county, uh, I don't know. But but Patrick Gwynn came from County Cork. Mm-hmm. And, um... Here, I'll put it down low. No, leave it up there. I can reach. Uh, Mother, don't you know something? I'll get one. I'll get one later. Um, as I have it, do you want me to tell me what Grandma Kerr told me? They bought farms, anyhow. They came to, uh, York, Pennsylvania, and bought farms, the two men did. They were friends. They were close mm -hmm. friends in County Cook Island. Patrick Gwen and Levi. Stand so I guess. Uh, uh, Patrick Gwen and uh, Levi uh, Chapman. They were personal friends in Ireland. And they came to this country, York, Pennsylvania. They bought farms. Somewhere and joined and the underground. And joined they the underground. They run slaves to Canada. And shuffled slaves off to Canada. I know a man that is waiting to hear that story when I get home. <laughs> and from that, well, now uh, Patrick Gwynn disappears. Where'd he go? Do you know that? There was Patrick Gwynn in Huntington who died in Huntington. Huh? There was a Patrick Gwynn who lived in Huntington. And, oh, sure, he lived and he there. died in Huntingdon. Is oh, buried in Huntingdon. That's what we oh, that's about. what I don't didn't know. Yeah, um, that's, he was. If he's if he's the right one, he died about um, 
1834, around there. They were almost grand shot one time. 1832 was she? She was born in 1832. Yeah, 1832. That's, right. yeah. That's right. Could have been. That's right. Because he, he was wasn't very old, but he wasn't young. He was 60, early 60s, I would say. He must have been older than Levi Chaplin, because Levi Maybe Chaplin lived a long time after that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know he did. Yeah, unless, you know, sometimes what confuses you is that there are two people by the same name, a father and son or something, and you're off by a generation. But if we're talking okay. about the right people, there was a Patrick Gwynn. He was sheriff of Huntington at one time, and he died in the mid-1830s. Well, anyhow, I couldn't find any track of his death. Mm -hmm. He just disappeared. I thought maybe something had happened to him because he was running slaves. Mm -hmm. He was an Irish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and Levi Chapel named his... Oh, I'm ahead of my story. The two men came over here and bought farms and took Indian wives. Mm -hmm. That's where the darker skin came from. Mm -hmm. It took they Indian wives, both of them. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them had black Well, they had, uh, the, his first Indian child by the Indian wife, Levi Chaplin, mm -hmm. was uh, John Charles. Oh, his first... Uh, oh, wait, you get me? The first child, John Gwynn. He named uh, John after his friend, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then I don't know what became of the Indian woman. Because, uh, and Mar I didn't Mariah have... Mariah Penlow, who I named after, mm -hmm. was one then of Granny Penlow comes into yes. the picture. And she was Grandma Chaplin's mother. Listen, I have a, a uh, bag of pictures in there. Bring it up, will you please? It's on the floor in front of my dresser. Yeah, what about uh, uh, Maria Penlow? Where'd she come from? Maria Penlow? Mm -hmm. She's grandmother's mother. Mm -hmm. Do you know she's where Indian. she came? She's an Indian. Aha. Uh -huh. She's the Indian. And she, in the meantime, she marries Penhall. And I didn't know what had happened to... Uh, I didn't know what had happened to... Um, Charlie. Yes. Oh, she's got a lot of good things here. Oh, yeah. Now, here's pretty well faded. Now, that's Grandpa mm -hmm. and Grandma. Charlie, you don't need that. Charlie, you don't need that. This one is pretty faded. I, yeah, I like I that know. hat. Don't you like that hat? Oh, I love that mm -hmm. hat. I think um, Marie has a better one. Now here's William Chaplin that had the the um, barber shop in Huntington. There's somebody on the back. Who's this on the back? That's my sister and Marie when she was little. This is my mother and father. That's where all the good looking people came into the family. <laughs> now, in the painting, which one is your mother? 
the one all the way over to the to the, to the left. left. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Yes. Except she looks younger and prettier here. She looks stern in that. Mm -hmm. Very stern faced. What did you say she was? She was. Um, what did you say it is, Mary? Hmm? The part that Grandma portrays in the picture. She was the doctor. Yeah, the doctor. The doctor. Yeah. Well, it was a duel. It was a regular duel. Mm -hmm. They had a doctor there. Mm -hmm. And she was the doctor. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd heard that the, there, there were stories. There were two newspaper articles that, there are lots of newspaper articles, and so you, that probably gets confused when I talk about newspaper articles, but there were a couple of newspaper articles in the Huntington paper in the 1940s, before I was interested in history. I was too young to be interested in it. And they were written about First, they were confused about John and Levi Chaplin, and the column would be written, and then people would call up the people who wrote them and correct them about the things, and then they'd write another one and get some of the things corrected and get other ones mixed up. But they talk, the people who wrote the columns talked to people who had known John Chaplin, remembered his barbershop, and uh, also remembered his daughters and talked about what beautiful girls they were. I couldn't find the rest of the pictures of the girls. And I am. I'll look them up. Now, where was your father from? My father was from Pennsylvania, too, down there mm -hmm. in Harrisburg. But not from hunting? No. Was it? No. Where did your mother meet him? Youngstown. Oh, in Youngstown. Oh, here was his shop in Youngstown. Was your father a barber? No, oh, he was a oh, tailor. He was a tailor. He had a tailor mm -hmm. shop way us. Did I send you that ad that was in the Huntington paper in uh, 1852 about your grandmother's millinery oh, she business? Did. She really did have a millinery yeah. shop. This looks like a church. Well, it had been a church, uh, but my father had a, uh -huh. had a tailor shop in it. Yeah. Pra the practical tailor. My um, bifocals, I've got two, two things in here, and then I look underneath, that's a third one. Robert Alexander Church. That just says the same thing down there. That is heavy. <laughs> I lost him. Look at this. That was for like you're doing marketing, but you can do what you would say. Yeah. You follow it. Uh huh. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I used to have for recordings. Don't you want some of these good things? I get some. Don't worry. Yeah. I'll put you over here. I get some, don't worry. I know oh, where the pan is. Put them back up on the table. I don't know where the pan is on the bag. Come here now. How'd that get broken? Oh, you sit there. I'll use up that roll of color film I had in the camera and put a roll of black and white in and copy these. My camera will copy them. I didn't bring my... Uh, Copy stand, but I can hold mm -hmm. it pretty still. No copy. Those pictures you got on the wall, okay. So, who drew, who painted those pictures? It's in the bedroom. Did I have them? Oh, I took them off the wall since there's too many strangers coming in. Well, who, who's, what pictures are those? I took them off the wall. Who painted them? Grandpa Chapman. What are you looking for? <laughs> I was just looking for, for a picture of uh, Granny Penlow and her daughter. It's Penlow in there. Girl. It's in there. Just go through slow mm -hmm. Is it's it in, in here? There. Or I in the back? It, is. it should be in the bigger one because it's a pretty good size uh, picture of Granny oh, Penlow I, and I her through. daughter. It's 
true. It's in the big uh, white box, Mac. The woman in Huntingdon, Charlotte Singh, mm -hmm. has a picture yeah. of John Chaplin's brother, Levi, oh. that they called Bub. Did you know him? No. I never knew Levi, you know. No, you wouldn't have. But no, then John, your grandfather had a brother, Levi, but they called him Bub. I can remember the name, Bub. Well, she has a good picture of Bub Chaplin, a little, one of those small ones. And it, she has a wonderful album. And the thing that's sad is that someone gave it to her. It's not her family. And she doesn't know who most of the people are, but his oh. name's written in, so we know who that one is. And I found a thing, you know, the little notes I sent you out of the paper? You remember the one about him? Yeah. It said Bub's yeah. home, he had been with the Traveling Wild West show, yeah. so yeah. Bub always did make a good red skin. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember that. <laughs> well, they were. Uh -huh. Yeah. They were and Indian. Charlotte Singh says her uh, grandfather was half Indian. Is she so, related to the family? No, she's not. But she's the oldest person in Huntington uh, that I have talked with who knew a lot of these people and was interested uh, in. She's I told me such interesting I things. I met a woman when I went to work for the government, and her um, name was Posey Lightner. She came from Pennsylvania. Posey Lightner. Cody Lightner. Cody Lightner. Cody Lightner. Yeah. Them? And she worked with me in an office. That's the, if it's the person I'm thinking of, she she's a woman. woman. Well, now this woman would be she, the woman I'm thinking of is now a school teacher, and she's approaching retirement age. Would that be the woman? No, she'd have to be older than that. Oh. Of course, I don't know. Her what name is uh, Lewis now, but that was her maiden name. Lightner was her maiden name, mm -hmm. and now it's Lewis. Mm -hmm. Cody Lightner. And she knew a number of the movie people, like Charles Wanger, mm -hmm. and uh, what's that one that had the three sons? They came from Wisconsin, where she's been living mm -hmm. for the last years. No, I don't think I know her then. And well, Charlotte Singh is not related to you, but she just had a lot of memories of people who. Now that is Granny Penlow and her daughter by the name of Penlow. Uh huh. That's the Indian side. This is the Indian mother. Look at that Grandma's head uh, dress she has. Like a hat, like a little hat with a big well, bow under her chin. Is that right? Grandmother Chaplin wore that kind. We do a perfect. So this. Grandmother Chaplin This wore is the your grandmother Chaplin's mother then. So that's it's your great grandmother. Grand that's my great grandmother. grandmother. Mm -hmm. That's Granny Penlow. And this is the Penlow girl. This would my be your grandmother's half sister. Half -sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the Penlow was. I never found him. Oh. Well, they must she have had a brother too. Half brother, George. Did she? Mm -hmm. Well, she uh, inherited some money because she bought a house at Youngstown. Your mo your grandmother. My grandmother. Now that was. Uh, they came to Youngstown, and they had been living quite a while with us. Mm -hmm. And and then somebody died by the name of Penlow. Mm -hmm. I thought it was her half sister, but it I'm might not have sure. been. I think George died before that. I think her half brother George died before they moved to Youngstown. Oh, well, this must have been then the uh, sister. Uh huh. Yeah. Somebody died by the name of Penlow and left, and left her two some money. houses. Oh, left two houses. One in St. Louis, a summer home in St. In yes, that was. You remember those newspaper mm -hmm. things? There was something about her having been in St. Louis visiting St. a Louis. sister who was sick. 
And that must be this half sister. The other house was in St. Paul. One was in St. Paul. St. Louis and St. Paul. She had two homes. She left, died and left two homes. One in St. Louis and one in St. Paul. Must have been her summer home to get away from the Summer home in St. Paul and a winter home in St. Louis. And I found a picture with the St. Louis Marshall. St. Louis and Minneapolis. You know, they talked about mm -hmm. not trying to teach them back then. Mm -hmm. Well, anyhow, she came back and she had enough money to buy a house mm -hmm. in a nice neighborhood on a pretty street in the youngest town. Mm -hmm. And she and Grandpa moved out of our house into their own house. And uh, I can see Grandmother going now. She had a carpet bag. That intrigued me when I was little. And it was red and green.